League 2 trophy after a thumping 7-0 victory at the Etihad Stadium. Today it's the turn of the under-18s who first of all face Newcastle United before at full time receiving the under-18 Premier League North trophy they won for the first time a year ago. It's been a simply stunning campaign for Ben Wilkinson's young charges, whose title was confirmed with three games still to play starting this afternoon against the Magpies. Looking for the one-two, Carlos Borges. He's got down to the byline as well. This is looking promising. And Dixon is blocked. And then a superb firing shot into the corner of the net from Brecken. And it was Carlos Borges that did the hard work. Working a 1-2 down the Newcastle right. And like all good wingers do, getting down to the byline. The look-up is crucial. There's a deflection on his intention. The shot from Dixon is parried. And like all good central midfielders, Brecken was following up. And he fired his shot very neatly out of the reach of the goalkeeper. Ball. Carlos Borges plays it through. And City on the second. Carlos Borges again. The supply line. He didn't get an assist for the first, but he will do for the second. Dixon it was who just waited for the pass to come through. He was well found by Whittingham. Borges and Borges then finds Dixon who made the run that all strikers should do to that far post. And it was a fairly simple slide in, but again a well constructed goal. And inside nine minutes, the Blues have genuine control of a game they've already dominated in reality. All over Newcastle. It's Whittingham. Oh, it's a, almost an own goal, and then it arrives for the third for O'Reilly. Well, it was almost an own goal when that cross came in from Whittingham. The header against the crossbar. And it just fell invitingly for O'Reilly. And the Blues are now 3 0 up. Well, it was a, an awkward one to deal with for the Newcastle defender. And he put it against his own bar. And it just popped up neatly for Nico O'Reilly. And now, inside 14 minutes, the Blues are 3 0 up. Foul. The Blues winning it back again. Here's O'Reilly. On towards Dixon. Dixon trying to force his way through. Carlos Borges. Number four. Just beyond the midpoint of the first half. And Carlos Borges, who certainly merited a goal for the amount of ruthless attacking plays already ably demonstrated, now adds his name to the score sheet. And the Blues are running riot here O'Reilly driving forward Dixon looking for the goal in the end is miss hit shot I think it was really a rise at the feet of Carlos Borges who couldn't miss and the Blues are now 4-0 up Good side. themselves into a bit of a mess and Carlos Borges pounces and here's Mabuda and they must score the Blues and they do Carlos Borges makes it five it's his second the Blues fifth Mabuda's laughing because he tried to get himself on the score sheet couldn't quite manage it and the loose one broke for the opposite winger Orchestrators of their own downfall, Newcastle. Carlos Borges pouncing upon it. Mabuda looking for the goal himself. And it just broke kindly for Carlos Borges, who slammed it into the corner of the net. And we're only in the 31st minute. And the Blues are halfway towards double figures already. And you would not discount them getting double figures. Really unlucky for Mabuda. You can see what he's trying to do. And there's a smile on his face as he's opposite winger benefits from Mabuda's approach work 
10 minutes to half time. City 5, Newcastle 0. And now it's 6. Well, Newcastle look dispirited, they look broken. And Josh Adam from the short corner has now added his name to the list of scorers. Thank you, pardon, it was his assist. It's actually turned in by O'Reilly. Saw Adam go short, and then in the blink of an eye, it was O'Reilly who rammed it in. Carlos Borges, and now Adam. Takes it back off O'Reilly, goes for the bending shots, and it's beautifully into the corner of the net. And right on half time, City have seven. Well, Adam's been instrumental throughout the match so far. He's another player who certainly merited a goal, and he has come up with perhaps the pick of them. It's his seventh of the campaign. And look at the way he sets it out beyond the far post, but bends it just inside of it. A beautiful finish right on the half-time whistle. And City lead by seven goals to nil. It's played outside and Mabuda will get to it. It's a terrific ball in and Dixon turns it in. And the Blues are off and running in the second half already. And Mabuda, who's been tormenting Newcastle down this right-hand side, is tormenting them early in the second half as well. And Dixon gets himself his second and City's eighth. And there's still such a long way to go that surely double figures are not out of the question. City eight, Newcastle nil. Here they are at pace on the counter-attack. Inevitably Mabuda available. And he's got the pace to get through on goal. And he's still going, Mabuda. And now he has one himself. And the Blues have nine for the first time. Well, Mabuda's been so very, very good throughout the match. He's been providing assists unselfishly for others. But this time he himself is on target. And the Blues have their ninth goal. Really sweetly taken. Coming in off the right side, getting beyond a couple of players with a little swivel of the hips and no little pace either. And the finish is devastating. Adam leads the play and City have the opportunity with Smith and they now have a tenth goal. Dixon and Borges applaud each other. One of them was going to get to a hat-trick. And it is Dixon who hits it first. O'Reilly's ball through. Adam into the gap. Smith, Son, Sodji all combining. And Carlos Borges and Will Dixon, either of them could have got the touch to complete their particular individual hat-tricks. And it is Dixon who does so. Smith who conjured up the assist for Dixon's hat-trick goal and he might well be providing another and he has another assist for Smith another goal for Adam and the Blues now have 11 while Smith provided the previous goal for Dixon and he's now provided one for Adam who scored right on half time to make it seven he's now on the score sheet for a second time to make it 11 it's a good finish too wasn't it here goes Whittingham and he scored a beauty Well, it's his first goal for the under-18s. And what a way to grab it. A peak.
reach of a left foot shot. It hit the underside of the bar and bounced over the line. And the Blues lead 12 0. You can make an argument that that's the pick of the goals. An absolute pearl of a free kick. Something off the training ground and O'Reilly. Thirteen for City. And O'Reilly now has a hat trick as well. Dixon with the first hat trick. O'Reilly with the second hat trick. I suppose it was an inevitability that there'd be more than one of these youngsters vying.